इमेजिन वॉचिंग लाइव स्पोर्ट्स फेवरेट टी वी वेब सीरीज एंड प्लेइंग एंड्रॉयड गेम्स ऑन योर एनी विंडोज पी सी एंड इवन कंट्रोलिंग एवरी थिंग विद योर फोन जस्ट लाइक अ रियल रिमोट ओनली थ्रू प्लगिंग अ यू एस बी ड्राइव इन टू योर ओल्ड लैपटॉप और इवन अ डेस्कटॉप नो एक्सपेंसिव हार्डवेयर नो कॉम्प्लिकेटेड इंस्टॉलेशन एंड एब्सोल्यूटली नो रिस्क टू योर एग्जिस्टिंग पी सी सेटअप एवर थाट योर ओल्ड लैपटॉप और डेस्कटॉप वॉज जस्ट गैदरिंग डस्ट वट इफ आई टोल्ड यू दैट विद नथिंग मोर देन यू एस बी स्टिक एंड अ फ्यू फ्री डाउनलोड्स यू कैन अनलॉक अ फुल्ली फंक्शनल एंड्रॉयड टी वी राइट बिफोर योर आईज टूडे ऑन एड्रेस वाई टी आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू एग्जैक्टली हाउ टू प्लग बूट एंड बेंच इन मिनट्स इंस्टॉल एंड्रॉयड टी वी थर्टीन डायरेक्टली एंड टर्न एनी लैपटॉप और डेस्कटॉप इन टू अ स्मार्ट टी वी यूजिंग जस्ट अ यू एस बी ड्राइव यू प्रोबेबली हैव फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट All the credits for this incredible project goes to our talented friends Bruno and Tolio Domingos. These two have carried their job forward after many other developers moved on, and thanks to their dedication, we now have a fully working, updated version packed with fixes and improvements. Special thanks to Tolio, the brilliant mind behind this version, who has made it possible for many of us to breathe new life into our old PCs with a fresh, smart TV experience. Check out his official website to stay updated and support his work. I recommend you to visit and subscribe to his YouTube channel. Link in the video description. And let's help him reach 5k subscribers. I will also be sharing their website link to download the ISO file along with the link to their Telegram group where the community share ideas, solve issues and keeps the innovation going. This version of Android TV 13 is blazing fast. You will be amazed at how smoothly it runs. All your favorite apps works flawlessly and the best part is that you can even run it directly from a pen drive without needing to install anything on your hard drive as you go anywhere just pick plug and boot your usb drive to any pc to run the android tv 13 the latest version follow along as i walk you through the step by step guide as i perform the procedure on my laptop and don't worry it works on any computer so you can easily follow along and try it on your own too If you are new here make sure to subscribe to the channel Atrius YT for more such awesome tech tips and tricks also check the video description for links to previous helpful videos let's dive in once you have gone through any of these links you will have to proceed through the following steps and pages and then you will reach to this drive link to download the iso file its size is around 2.1 gb also download the zip file named as data 4 gb through the drive link i have provided in the description as it begins to download in addition to these files you will also need the rofos utility a free tool that helps create bootable usb drives download it from its official website so just open one more tab and search rofos download the latest version currently rofos 4.9 portable for the best performance once all the files are downloaded click here to locate the download folder directly You will have these three files that we discussed till now. Now, grab a USB drive with at least 8 GB of free space and insert it to your computer. While the setup file you downloaded is around 2 GB, once extracted, it requires more room to run smoothly. Important: If you have any important data on your pen drive, make sure to back it up first because the drive will completely formatted during the process. Better safe than sorry. After plugging the USB drive, run the rufus executable as an administrator we will dive right into creating your bootable pen drive under device it will automatically fetch the usb drive plugged into your pc if not reinsert it and select your usb drive from the drop down menu click select and choose the android tv iso you downloaded in the partition scheme gpt is generally preferred for uefi booting and mbr is for older systems with legacy bios mode You can simply have few checks by searching system information. Here in the BIOS mode, I have UEFI firmware and yours could be of legacy mode. And in secure boot state, you can see my secure boot is on, which should be disabled in order to boot anything externally from your BIOS. Otherwise, it may show violation message due to security policy as shown here. We will help you to disable it once the ISO file will be booted. Ensure the file system is set to F8032. Click start. and confirm the pop-ups of boot loader detection and wipe warning message this will erase everything on your usb click okay to proceed wait a few minutes as rufus writes the iso and makes the drive bootable once the process is completed you see status ready 
you will have a bootable android tv drive close rufus but wait we are not finished yet extraction of the data expansion pack is pending once rufus completes the process you will have to copy the data 4gb zip file to your usb drive named as atv13 use a tool like 7zip or winrar to extract the file simply right click on this file and select extract here after extraction you will see an image file named data this file acts as an expansion pack providing extra storage for apps user data and settings this might also contain pre configured settings and includes crucial performance tweaks for smooth playback for android tv to run smoothly the time has come now to make your laptop or computer a smart android tv so let's boot into android tv insert the usb drive into pc where you want to boot and convert into a tv i will proceed with same laptop restart this machine and as it powers on during startup press f2 f10 f12 escape button or delete varies by manufacturer to open the bios firmware settings you can take your selections as shown here on the screen here first you will have to disable the secure boot option using up and down arrow keys and after disabling the secure boot come to clear all secure boot keys and press your asked four digit code and hit enter it will clear all the secure boot keys and disable secure boot temporarily until we turn it back on now come under the section uefi boot order and make the usb drive your priority to boot first try pressing f5 and f6 keys to arrange the order now we are done with it just hit enter on save changes and exit it will automatically be booted through your usb drive as you can see we have reached to the android tv boot selection page where you will find several kernel versions available and some available with external display here it may be that one works on your pc the other one does not okay so test and see which one works for you so you can keep using here any of the kernel as shown here my system is running well on 6.1.69 select this version and hit enter the system has initializes the android tv setup automatically here is where the magic begins you notice the android tv animation is only appearing here right just wait a few moments as the android tv interface loads with some initial configurations follow the on screen prompts at the welcome page choose your language example english you can simply scroll here until you find the language you want then press enter the next step is to select the wifi network if it shows the network list otherwise you can connect it via ethernet cable as i don't have ethernet cable connection i will use my data cable and connect the internet using usb tethering options through my android phone you can choose this option as well for yourself after connecting the data cable it shows that you are connected using ethernet now click on continue here we arrived at the login page okay you can log in now with your google account or you can skip this to do it later in the settings but i am finishing it by logging in with my google account accept the terms here right now you can provide your location access by selecting yes Here I am going to put no. I will set up the Google Voice Assistant later, but here you can set up for you. Now here you can choose the name as per your preference. I will select it as Android TV. And here I am going to install all of the following applications that are showing recommended from Google. Now click on continue. Now press right arrow keys to skip it one by one. Wait a little bit. Finally, it will send you to the system's home screen. Now it is asking what launcher to open. I am selecting the Google TV here for this instance. The system is completely clean, so it is really light. There you can add your applications, some that comes with the system, you can add them manually. It is so that it finishes configuring itself. I will finish showing you the system. Look, just remember that you can use keyboard and mouse control without any issue. All of this is for using your Android TV. We already have access to the applications here. the streaming platforms of course are for you to access your accounts that you signed up for and in a few seconds it started synchronizing and will put some things some presentations on the home screen i will walk you through these some of the apps and also it is even working for games and everything else let's have a look on youtube to see how the video buffering and clarity is the cool thing is that youtube on android tv is really fast man it is faster than any tv box that i have ever used Look at this extremely fast navigation fluidity. 
really fast and playback is even faster. Look, we barely click and it starts the playback process in high quality. Look at this image definition. It already plays everything in the cleanest possible image. Now let's check Geo Hotstar and see all the episodes and matches are showing here. We will see a quick highlight of the recent match that happened against England. You can have access to all the apps that are available on your phone. There is also the game that we added that we will test it right away with the control. It works with a voice command. If you use a microphone and going into the settings, here we can see the rest of the things. We have the button shutdown, suspend, restart, ok google detection through microphone, Wi-Fi network, account and login, display and sound. We will also go there. Apps, system settings, look here, there are several settings too. Here in about page, we have Android TV OS version 13 is installed. We can enable to development settings by pressing few tabs on Android TV OS build. Through it, we have unlocked all the settings that we find in the developer options in our Android phone. There is a lot of stuff and in general, you will even be able to rescue older computers look. In storage, we have 4.2 GB space is showing as internal shared storage where apps and games have loaded. Inside the app center, you can explore and install all the Android apps available, just like on a smart TV or Android device. Now let's dive into the gaming experience because this is where the things get seriously exciting. You will find a wide range of Android games. I have installed a few of my favorites to test how well they run on this setup. And let me tell you, the performance is honestly surprising. Let's start with the first game, Beach Buggy, which I have played a lot on my Android phone. As soon as we launch it, you will notice how quickly it boots up. This one has a bit of an intro, so it might take a moment. But look how beautiful it looks already. No lag, no stutter. It instantly recognized my keyboard inputs and if you have a USB or Bluetooth gamepad connected, that will work too without any extra setup. It just works, plug and play. The controls feel incredibly smooth. While it is running, everything responds instantly. Now moving on to a second game, Red Ball 4. If you have played it before, you know how important timings a control are. And guess what? It runs super smooth using just the keyboard. I am using just a standard keyboard and here it is working flawlessly. No input delay, nothing. Up next, let's take a look at Badland. This one has more atmospheric graphics, shadows and all of that is rendered beautifully here. It honestly feels like I am playing on a high-end Android tablet or even a console. Although my gameplay is not that good enough, the game automatically mapped the keyboard controls and within seconds, I was gliding through the forest and zero frame drop. You can really appreciate the visuals effect here, especially on a full HD screen. It looks cinematic. Another cool thing is that every game I tried so far runs in full screen, automatically adjust to my monitor resolution and keeps the graphics clean and sharp. No black bars, no stretching, no bugs. It's a plug and play gaming experience on an Android TV system, but on a PC. Of course, if any app or game ever fails to launch or crashes midway, don't panic. That's usually just a kernel compatibility issue. You can switch the kernel version and most problems get resolved instantly. If you ever want to exit this Android TV setup, just shut down and press the on button. Go to your BIOS menu, change the BIOS order to prioritize Windows again. But keep the secure boot option disabled to run this fantastic TV through your bootable USB drive. Save the changes and you are back to your original Windows setup. Simple. That's it for now. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like and leave a comment. Especially if you want a full step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install this system directly on an old PC instead of running it from a USB. I will make a separate video for that. Thanks for watching. Big hug. And I'll see you in the next one.